If these mealworms make you squirm, then you've come to the wrong place. Monica Martinez and her assistant are preparing one of their signature snacks, spicy superworms. Martinez is one of a growing number of entrepreneurs who are trying to convince more people to eat bugs. They say insects can be produced with less land, food, and water than other sources of protein. Most people who actually say, oh, it's kind of gross, they said it before trying it, and then they try it and they were like, whoa, you know, this is pretty good. Biddy Foods is finding a market online and at upscale grocery stores for its cookies made from cricket flour. The startup recognizes that consumers who want the nutritional benefits of insects don't necessarily want to be reminded of what they're eating. We're going to start to see people trying insects in a powdered form um, and, you know, incorporated into foods so that they're invisible before people are going to make the leap to eating whole insects. The growing demand for edible insects is straining supplies of crickets and other bugs. Oakland-based Tiny Farms is developing more efficient ways to mass-produce crickets. The goal is basically to make it easier and cheaper to produce like industrial scale volumes of insects that can be used in food products. Free sample. But eating bugs isn't for everyone. Despite free samples of chocolate covered crickets and spicy superworms, not everyone took the bait. No. Okay. No. Dude, the worm is <laughs> but those who did were pleasantly surprised. No, it doesn't really taste like a bug. It tastes like crunchy spices. I mean, I'm not sure if this is going to be my everyday snack, but I think it's fun. I think it's cool. And some became enthusiastic customers. Tasty. Well, I load it up just because it's tasty and, uh, and it's a great source of protein and it's hard to find. Edible insects could soon become a lot easier to find if entrepreneurs have their way. Terry Che Associated Press, San Francisco.